Hello, everybody. A belated Happy New Year. I'm obviously at the University of Scranton in the Athletics Department. I'm John Gatto, the Sports Information Director for the Royals. Uh, today we have another installment of Royals Rewind, but we're going to go way back for this one. We go back to 1980 and the 1980 NCAA Men's National Championship game for Division III in men's soccer featuring Babson and the University of Scranton Royals. This is the first time that the Royals were both in the Final Four and in the National Championship game. We go all the way back to November 29th, 1980 for this one, and we were joined by several members of the team, along with head coach Steve Klingman for this one, and uh, I think everyone out there is going to really enjoy uh, this back in time with uh, this group of special group of players that really put together one of the most historic seasons in the history of not only the University of Grand men's soccer team, but of the entire athletics department. So before we get started, just want to remind everybody to keep following us on social media, at Royal Athletics on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, we're going to have updates as we go through this early part uh, of the year as we start winter sports here uh, in 12 days with our basketball season beginning. And also go to our website, athletics.scrand.edu, recently redesigned website. Well, everybody out there is really enjoying the new look of our athletics website. And uh, it's going to be <laughs> chock full of information here as we get into February and be finally begin our athletics season here at the university. So without further ado, here's the 1980. NCAA Men's Soccer National Championship game for Division Three between Babson and Scranton in this edition of Royals Rewind. All right, now we're joined by several members of the 1980 University of Scranton men's soccer team. They're joining us from all over the country today. Obviously, head coach Steve Klingman is on the call. He's from nearby in Clark Summit living there, but there's people from all over, the, not only the United States, but the world on this call today. So I'll let each of them introduce themselves. Whoever wants to go first, go right ahead. Go ahead, Steve. Okay, well, go ahead, Sid. You go first. <laughs> what do you want to say? Right. Uh, well, I'm joining you from the northwest of England, five <laughs> hours difference with a beer in my hand. Um, what do you need to know? My involvement in the game or in the, in the team or what? Just your name and where you're at. That's it. Oh, right. Sorry, I forgot my name. Yeah, yeah Cedric De Silva. it off. Cedric De Silva, my name. I nearly forgot that. Um, yeah, formerly from London, moved to uh, Northwest uh, England and very happy. Thank you very much. All right, I'll go next since we're going by distance. Uh, Mark Haley. Um, we had too many small guys like Cedric up front, so they had to move somebody larger up front to help them. Uh, but I'm, I'm, uh, today I'm videoing in from uh, Seattle, Washington. We live in Las Vegas, but we're, we're up here today, so looking forward to it. Robert Hernandez, um, calling from, I currently live between Saratoga Springs and Lake George, New York. Seen you guys. Chico, Perfect. nice. See you, bro. Good to see you. Wild Bill. My man. <laughs> All right, I'll go. Tom McGill reporting in from Darcy's Tavern, Bradley Beach, New Jersey. <laughs> you got a little too close there, Tom. Damn. I couldn't see. <laughs> Pull back. Pull back. <laughs> You're up, Bill. Uh, Billy McNeil here, calling from a couple miles from Darcy's in Brielle, New Jersey. We're spending a lovely 32 degree day afternoon here in lovely Jersey Shore. Very nice. Thanks. Hello, guys. Dennis McBride here in Eric Nuttall's living room in Lovell, Eric. New Jersey. <laughs> the water is almost coming up onto the, onto the bulkhead here, so we may not be here for the entire show. We hope to make it. <laughs> I thought you were in Haley's tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're just hoping, we're hoping the tide doesn't, we're hoping the tide doesn't <laughs> fall. <laughs> Goes great, and I hope we win today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, Bill Tooley in Fort Mill, South Carolina, just below Charlotte, North Carolina. Oh, that's a oh, Bill. Nice. 
Good. Bill, you got to give us some of that southern draw if you're down there for long. Come on, buddy. <laughs> My daughter's all got it, Billy. <laughs> That's good. Good boy. <laughs> they, all, they all grew up southern. All right. Is that everybody? Is there is there anybody else that needs to introduce themselves? Or? Yeah, hey. Matt. Guyden and Matt, why don't you guys introduce yourselves? Sure. Uh, Coach Piverato, uh checking in from – from campus, sitting in the office, and um, looking forward to watching the game with all you guys. Glad you're all able to participate, and um, look forward to all the banter and you guys being able to connect with each other. Thank you, Matt. Good job, Thanks, Matthew. Man. Thanks for having us, man. Thank you. And, yeah, uh, yeah. Appreciate Good it, Matt. Good idea. I'm Matt Guyton, Coach Piv's assistant, uh, coming to you from Old Forge right outside of Scranton, but originally from Cranford, New Jersey. So been here about two years and just looking forward to seeing this as well. Thanks for all for being here. Welcome, Matt. Thanks. Pleasure. Once again, thanks guys for, for being here today and Coach Piv, obviously, um, you and, and Coach Clayman really put the legwork into this and putting this together. So uh, I thank you as well. So uh, now uh, I want everybody to get ready. We're gonna go back into time. We're gonna go back over 40 years to the yeah. game that Ow, ooh, lives, ooh. lives in the memory books for a lot of <laughs> at the University of Scranton as we take on Babson for the National Championship. All right, let's take a look at the starting lineup for today's game. <laughs> okay, now we are live uh, from Babson. This is the 1980 National Championship game. Uh, November 29th, 1980, this game was played. Uh, you see here, they're going to go through the starting lineup. So one thing that obviously I did not know until the game was shared out was that this was televised on ESPN. ESPN in 1980 was not what you would think it is obviously today. It was a new sports network on cable. Um, it was just a year in existence at this point. And really to fill programming, they put games like this on the their broadcasts and, and, and through the air. So uh, that was why this game was on ESPN and broadcast across the country. The announcers on this game that you'll hear uh, throughout, Lou Palmer, who worked at ESPN until 1986. But his color guy that day is a guy that's very familiar, Al Troutwick, who went on to work at MSG Network and ABC and NBC. He's been on the Olympics. He's hosted all kinds of things uh, throughout his career. And this is where he pretty much got his start, was in soccer. He was a play-by-play play announcer for the New York Cosmos for a few years, and it's probably why he was assigned <laughs> this game on ESPN. So um, let's talk about really guys leading into this game. Steve, really, what was the mindset of the team, and what were you guys thinking? Uh, we'll talk about a little bit about the national semifinal win as well, but I just want to kind of get your, Steve, your thoughts on preparing the team for a national championship game. This was something that – was a first for the soccer program at Scranton. For the game you would give John, I'd jump in quick on this. Just to give you everybody, people that haven't seen this or ever don't know what the situation is. This, uh, we got up there, I think we got up there on uh, Friday practice or Thursday. Bottom line is it rained for probably three or four days. Before we got there, it poured the whole both semi-final matches. And to be honest with you, if this game wasn't live on ESPN on Thanksgiving weekend, whatever, it shouldn't have been played. This field if there's ever an unplayable field you're seeing it um it was eight inches of mud right there and it got worse as the game progressed so um you know i'm biased but i think on a dry really nice dry field we probably were the better team period but the conditions were brutal and that's you know not to start with sour grapes but it was a really tough uh, tough situation i think in, in today's day and age i don't think there'd be any way that this would Sure. Um, this is something that, you know, we're watching the broadcast over. They really talked about a lot during the game. It was just how, how poor the field conditions were, how really on one side of the, of the pitch it was worse than on the other. And as the match went on, obviously, it just got substantially worse. Um, and we'll see that as we um, watch this game. Um, entering the Final Four, guys, who went and won 20 matches. We 22 and one entering this. Uh, in the NCAA tournament, um, it, it almost went away in the first match against Grove City, 2-1. to one. You guys pulled it out in double overtime. Uh, but from there, moved on pretty well. Went to Haverford, 3-1, to one, and then went to Calvin in Michigan and won one to nothing. Uh, in the national semifinals, uh, the day before this, on Friday, uh, the 28th, uh, 
He knocked off Washington out of Missouri. Washington versus Missouri. Nice one, Willie. Good yeah. ball, right to, right to Artie's feet. <laughs> <laughs> Three that? goals in the second oh, half for the Royals. What was that left footed? Let's throw it somebody and keep this game in control. That time, uh, McNeil hit the turf with his on the kick, and that's why the ball didn't go anywhere. And it almost. Oh, thanks, guys. <laughs> at least he's watching. He gets it back to Mark Haley. <laughs> Haley has great size at uh, six three or six four, and is able to. Uh, five six five six six. Arturo. You able to control the play at midfield with that great height, but again, air. Is going to be a tough commodity in the game today. That one goes over the head of Haley. Take him by number 11 for the Bats and Beavers. Jimmy Ellis, and the clock says 34 15 remaining in the first half at Wellesley, Massachusetts. Babson College hosting the NCAA Division III championship, and they won it, of course, last year. Hey, Steve, if you ever got us a home field, we would have done some damage. You would have yeah. been Davo Sweeney now. Yeah, I'm sure Memorial Stadium would have been a lot better. <laughs> okay, guys, head over to Dunmore for the championship. Right. But instead, Madison got a foul, and now Scranton's got to start over again. Now they've got uh, De Silva down there, and they've got Crines number three headed away by the Babson Beavers. Number 20, Bob LeBlanc on the header, but it goes to Crines coming in. Get him, Mike! Oh, get him, Michael! Go, Michael! Crines can get oh, yeah. Ben. There's his cross. It's set up. It goes high over oh. one attacker. Good block on the part of number seven, John Sexton, by Don DeMario. It was nice. He let him play and on the, the uh, perfect grass all the this time. One. Yeah. That was a pretty crazy. Crazy. Go out there by that right wing. The right wing yeah. by Crines, who Tell Dibulario and Jimmy Crines and me. Uh, how about the rest play of it? By John Sexton <laughs> of the Babson Beavers. McGill, you had your mud caulks <laughs> on. Uh, it's definitely. Work. That time the quarterback was Crines. <laughs> Who took it into the corner, was turned back once, took it in again, and got a real good cross off it. But the wind is just doing crazy tricks with the ball. It was excellent. The ball on the ground. Wind. Your point was well taken about staying out on the wings, because that's really the uh, uh, the only part the only dry part of that game. And yet there were <laughs> some hardy <laughs> yeah, for the time being. pouring rain. Oh, yeah. I do mean pouring. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Come on, Artie, get it through there. Game. I don't think it ever stopped. It was really right. coming down. Drawn by Art Cotter. They would have Senior played this thing on turf. Bloomfield, New Jersey. Ridiculous. Gets it down to Crines. Good body shielding there by Crines, but it goes behind him to the Babson defense and turned back to the goalkeeper by Kevin Bryant, number 10. Mark of a very smooth defender by Bryant. Uh, just to get smooth inside the penalty area, settle it down. <laughs> yeah. to panic, even though I can't believe they had a camera behind the goal. Yeah, the, you know, the one thing, you know, I, from watching this was that, as you see right Steve, here, there he is. <laughs> oh, very fit, Steve. I like and it. Dennis, and Dennis. Right. <laughs> nice corduroy, Steve. It's still wear them. But the cover <laughs> there, I was, I was surprised. You, that, you know that they had multiple cameras. Did you see Steve? Too, man. There you go. Um, I can't believe we have Al Troutwick with us. <laughs> Larry Lyman, Carlos, O.C. Yeah. Go Vaughn yawning. Go Vaughn yawning. Go Vaughn yawning. Larry has a lot of wrestling warm up because we didn't have yeah. a warm up, so I bought quite a few yeah. from Poppy. <laughs> yeah, when you see <laughs> the uh, Babs and Bents, they're all wearing the same warm ups. <laughs> Contrasting styles, there, huh? Yep. No losses to be ashamed of at all. Steve, how did you manage to get me an Oakland A's jersey for this game? <laughs> I think, mean, uh, Gil, I think you had your, your uh, Chicago Blackhawks sweatshirt on. Yeah. year now it's And every year he seems to take Grant just so far and then they die. This year they feel it's Grant has the. I'll take it easy there. Really? Killing you, Steve. They're killing you. Steve, I will say that that was the only time that you were shown on camera the entire game. So um, they were much more biased towards the Babson head coach. He was shown multiple times. Um, he was also dressed for really well, Yeah, but he had a yeah, he had a cool zoot suit on. That yes. That's <laughs> why. What happened there? As the ball simply plopped right out in front of the stadium. Well. Right 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 I'm going to roll it into the mud. Oh, we played. It's not the surface of the moon or somewhere. Come on, bring it through. Get up. Come on, son. Stopped in the mud. It's like playing on the beach. Here's Steve. Ah. Oh, torch! Torch! torch. torch. Give it up the torch! Torch is going, oh, Coach, I need a couple of minutes. I got family here. As the silver was chasing. 
Look at that pitch is nice. Oh, Come on, McNeil. Yeah. This probably can set a little farther. That could have been the first goal. Well, it could have been because Scranton was looking for an option. Ah, these guys were so biased. Al Troutwick. Looking at the lines and saying, where is it? Where is it? And there was no whistle. That's a pretty good team, though, Gilly. Babson had a good chance. Yeah, it is. We'll get another look at it right here. Lou Pop. Scranton players kind of laying off. They're not running. They're kind of walking. And the keeper had a shot. Oh, yeah. Come on, guys. They're walking. Keep going. You're walking. Here come the Scranton Royals from the left wing. That ball kicked across to the penalty. Whoa, whoa! Unbelievable. Who was penalty? Who was that? They called obstruction down in the in the box. Oh, it's a total penalty. Hold on, hold on here. Why are we not up one nothing here? Look at this guy. Total penalty. Boom! Obstruction. Are you kidding me? Oh. <laughs> He got so he can, so it sets up. I think the next half, McBride gets just laced down in the box. And it's like, what? Indirect kick? What kind of rules are they? I know. There was a penalty. Right run. Hey, Mark, did you remember that obstruction call? I do. I and mean, I'm like, how can you call obstruction down here? I mean, did you use those terms like that? So nice? No, not, not quite. Shoot, Eric. The play made by Jim Stento, number 11. Shoot it, Eric. Extremely well. <laughs> and here's another try by the Royals, number 11, Eric Nuttall. Comes That's a lot of hair, Eric. Right? And, <laughs> and goes over to the Scranton side of the field as we look again at the defensive work of the Babson Beavers. Well, Scranton went to their big man, Silva. This Silva. It's this right Silva for that guy. That's Silva. Right. Or you could just call him Lenny. Silva down into the right corner for Mark Haley for the University of Scranton. And we're going to get another corner kick here. Oh, God, this is so depressing. So depressing is we know the result. Yeah. Yeah. Ward off the shot from this guy. That's what I mean. De Silva. De Silva I didn't think that guy had enough De leg to make corner kicks. Grinds back to the Silva. <laughs> it's probably only sure. Give it back to him. Here's his cross and nothing but a Babson defender there to clear the way. Stato once again. Well, they took the short corner because they're going into the wind. So if they try to do it, they might as well just give it up. So they tried to show it when it Jimmy Levin. Now, Do you guys remember any wind? I don't remember any wind. Uh, 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 look at a flag, Gilly. Yeah, look at a corner yeah, flag. I can't remember the wind. I don't remember the wind. Much. I don't remember much about this game anymore. I don't remember the wind. As you can see, a dog there uh, just sitting down on the sidelines. That's our mascot. What do you mean, a dog? <laughs> Like being in the mud, right? That's part of the home field advantage. Lou. They bring that dog to wherever they're throwing the ball, and then the guy keeps looking over his shoulder, and he doesn't do a good throw in. Take it easy, Al. <laughs> yeah, really. Like, I'm sure he didn't use this as a demo for ESPN. <laughs> right. Get out of there! <laughs> Come on, mate. Where's the center? Billy would have had that anyway. Guys, nice tight D. I like it. I <laughs> <laughs> got him. I got him. Three guys are under the ball. Take his head out, McNeil. LeBlanc is there. He's got all that room to shoot. Ooh, yeah. Shoots it wide. Ooh. Oh, that's a bad one. That's a bad miss, that one. That's a bad miss. Wow, there's McBride. Denny! <laughs> this is Dennis McBride. Dennis. He's now he... Coming into the game for the Scranton Royals. That was a golden opportunity, as Babson certainly had its best opportunity, and as a matter of fact, the best opportunity for either team in the game. All right, here comes the serve out front. Good ball. And he left. Is there to take it out of mm. Haley was bearing down Marcus. Come on, Mark. Get up there. Uh, I know. He's just... Look at up. Sorry. Look at how deep <laughs> the butt is. I know. There's your Mooney. Oh, that's right. You could do that back then, couldn't you, Mark? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> get that nice turf. Take you back and show you some great one on one play. A good kick through. Nice. We should have just. 
<laughs> the high press. Watch Michael. He's going to nutmeg this guy. Ready? Get in, Mikey. Boom. Oh. 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 A couple of points in the dressing room, I would think. Had a good one-on-one -on -one opportunity and missed it, went wide on the net, and then uh, had that kick through performed against him. Yeah, it's not going to be a first half that LeBlanc is going to want to remember for a very Johnny, long time. He missed uh, an easy Johnny goal did. and then has someone put the ball between your legs. It's under 11 <laughs> minutes remaining, scoreless first half for the Division Three championship. The guy's probably UN. Oh, my there he God. Is. who's that guy? Right. That's the coach. Is that the fashion coach, Steve? Yeah, Johnny Zutzi. Yeah. I think he's going to a dance or something. <laughs> you didn't ask him for a blazer for the weekend? <laughs> no. <laughs> Come on, Sid. Forget that. Haley, Ryman, get in there. I just got – Carlos is in now. He'll get it. Oh, <laughs> good time to play it long. <laughs> <laughs> he was a good player, Carlos. Uh, go ahead, oh, yeah. the ball and winning Take him, son. And he puts it up into the air, and coming along is the Babson keeper Cahill. Wisely, <sighs> the defense allowed it to go right back. Home. You know, people might look at a player like that. number 16 was a guy who was trying to use that pass, and uh, they call a foul. Is this correct? Is that Carlos? Carlos. Is four Scranton number nine, Carlos Lorero. And we get a uh, whistle blown and a foul called against uh, Scranton. Scranton? Oh, yeah, probably right. Good man, Carlos. <laughs> Take him down, son. Let's kill him. End of the shot. We have six minutes and three seconds left to go in the uh, first half, Lou, and still no score. And really. Oh, they just did it. It's not the whole game, right? This is just like highlights? Mm hmm. Yeah. Been edited, yeah. To, uh, Head off that That's fine. Fisher was bearing down from left wing, but pass a little bit too long. I need a pint. We might mention that uh, half time's Joe coming. Schellenberger, the coach <laughs> of Lynchburg of Virginia, is here. You open, Gilly? Division oh yeah. Committee, and hopefully, we'll get a chance to chat with him at halftime. Well, you'll see. NHL Come on, Artie, throw that thing. On ESPN, as the Los Angeles Kings are off to a red hot start this year. You can see on, on Saturday, December 13th, there's going to be NHL. Well, on this the Hartford, the Hartford, Hartford, Hartford had a hockey team? Hartford Whalers. Hartford Whalers. Yeah, they, they had like a green, green, they look like the, uh, the, the Eagles. Oh, yeah. They still sell those t shirts in the Hartford Airport. Do they really? Yeah. And they're able to get early days of ESPN, they showed a lot of sports that were in Connecticut. Right and, the and so when you do, no University of Connecticut, Hartford Whalers were um, on a lot on ESPN in those first couple of years. Pick it up! Pick it up! You're not allowed to do that. Pick it up and then drop it in the mud! Instead, they go ahead and give it right back over to Scranton. Bill McNeil from Wall, New Jersey, a sophomore, the keeper for Scranton, who has 13 shutouts this season. In fact, they have the team had 13. Two goals in a game only once this season. Their defense has really been extremely tough, and so of course have the Babs and Beavers. That's why both of these teams are competing for this Beavers. Division Three championship. <laughs> don't don't say it. Now, first half as they get it into De Silva, he gets it back to midfield, knotted up there by Van Berg. Come on, Eric. There you go. Get in there. There, there, there we go. You oh, didn't want to be either one of those guys. Eric Nuttall, number 13, John Sisk. The play, Art Collier. John Sisk. He scored the goal. Yeah. Spoiler alert. Terrible. Steve, at halftime, I want you to move set a little bit more outside so we have some more room, okay? Put Haley back in the middle. I can breathe. Who's that? Get in there. Come on, boys. Is that, is that Levin? Oh. Oh. Scranton turning it back to goal now. The only man attacking there for Babson was Mark Silva. John, do you have a Babson roster in front of you? I do not have one. No. no. 
Yeah, no. Not going um, to be able to do much with this. The Silva has it with three seconds to go. Stolen from behind. Their center the midfielder and their center out. back were kids from uh, Binghamton. Vestal, I tried to recruit. I knew when they were little kids. My, my best friend down here is texting me. His, his brother played in this game. I think two of his two of his brothers were on Babson, and he played at UNC Greensboro. And if we would have won that semifinal game my senior year, we would have played against him in the national championship. Yeah, they won it. I think. I think they talked about during the broadcast is that Babson had actually beaten Binghamton to go to the final four, and they had the connection on the team. They had kids on the team from Binghamton beat. It's going to be a turn. Hey, Steve, when we played the uh, Grove City and Haverford that year, where where did we play those games? We played, uh, we played over Dunmore High School. No, no, no. I think we played at a college somewhere. We, well, we, well, we played Haverford. We played Haverford at Dunmore. I don't know. I'm I remember Grove City. City we played Grove City. He's been added some great semi. I think we played it. Hey, Tooley, I have a Babson roster. Is there any Pantuscos on it? Well, one out's like immediately. John Pantusco. He's the ex. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the two Binghamton kids were Steno and Kevin Bryant, the center back and center back. He was a sophomore. Time, incidentally, they've hosted the championship, and they have never won the championship at home, folks. Well, they have two prior Division Three championships. Yeah, we played Haverford twice that week. We played them in the MAC championship down there, and then we played them on Sunday, four days later, the following weekend at Dunwich. Very good, uh, free kick. Yeah. They're pretty good, they Haverford, that year. They had four or five losses. They were the we were the only Division three team that beat them. All their losses were the Division one schools. I remember the MAC championship game there. Remember how the wind was going like 60 miles an hour one way? Yeah. Yeah. That was hard. Yeah, we were down. on the tying goal, and then Ryman won it in overtime. Yeah. Have an to go. Yeah. Just a little yeah. 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 And dangerous right out front, finally cleared away, and uh, the keeper's down for Strand. Get a ball rolling through the murk. Being helped up. What happened? What happened, Billy? I say this every time I do a soccer game, but it's when the goalkeeper goes up to make a two-handed save that it leaves himself most wide open to injury, and that's because he's not protecting any. Yeah, you think about the team. I mean, the three losses we had. Lock Haven was 21 and 0, and they won the Division Two National Championship. We lost to them two nothing, and then Philly Textile was. Fourth and Division yeah. One. Uh, we lost to them two to one. They were 15 and one. They lost to Penn State in the quarterfinal of Division One. Yeah. Yeah. Absence, that was it. Lucky yeah. they won the Division Two National Championship. They won undefeated. Yeah, they won the, the, the previous three years, they knocked us out of the regional final two in overtime, and they won the mm -hmm. National Championship those three years. And then the next year, they went up to D2 and went 21 0 and won the Division Two Championship. So they weren't bad. Yeah. Yeah, that 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 year in '79 we lost him. I felt so bad for Keats and who was the other guy? The center midfielder from Philly, Danny Amsbacher. Yeah, no, I think they're the only two seniors on a team, right? Yeah, yeah, it was a couple. Great kick here for Babson in the white on their half. Well, then you're short buddies, right? Gargan and yeah, yeah, Crowley, yep. Trevor, there. <laughs> yeah. They were good. But, uh, over they were. I've said probably still has a couple of uh, Trevor there steel cleats in his calf. <laughs> that guy used to try to kill you, said. Did somebody send me a link? Was that bud? Did he die? Yeah, and I'll tell you yeah. what, it won't be a bad thing. No, uh, yeah, he's dead. Who's dead? Trevor Adair. Trevor Adair. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know he that. He died? Yeah. yeah. I didn't know that either. He's, he was just coaching oh. down. Oh. What happened there? Oh. 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 Come on, Troutwig. 
Trevor was, was down great. here at Clemson, right, Steve? Yeah, he was there for a long time. And he got, he got he fired got from Clemson. Into trouble down here at Clemson yeah, with his so family. He up his daughter or something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, he just passed away like two months ago, I think. Yeah. Well, he got—he was a head coach at Old Dominion after Clemson. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, uh, said beautiful legs, mate. <laughs> I couldn't feed him at a time. Atta boy. Give it to Eric. Come on, mate. Arturo. <laughs> Jimmy Levin. It was I love that guy. This. Where is Jimmy Levin? Anyone know where he is? No. No. I saw Torch a few years ago and asked him about him. He said he lost touch with them as well. Torch got in touch with me about a year ago. Mm -hmm. The real question is, where's Ruggy? Ruggs in Anaheim, California. Yeah, he's Tom, 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 yeah. <laughs> Tom Lime Cooler, you mean? <laughs> Tom Lemon Heater. So we had a couple chances in this game, right? They had a couple. It's a pretty good game, right? Second half. Oh, we should have to throw in this game, man. I, yeah, I remember it being back and forth, you know, very, you know, ebbs and flows kind of thing. I never thought we were going to get scored on, though. No. Neither did I, Gilly. <laughs> Terrible feeling, I'll tell you that. Whoa! The next year was way worse. Youth must be yeah. Right, Willie? What's that, bud? The next year was way worse. Oh, don't tell me about that one. That was an own goal, right? No. Yeah. <laughs> Can you say that's an own goal? <laughs> What's that? Hey, hey. Cedric, man. It's the other goal you're supposed to hit. In. No, no, no. Someone deflected it off of like a. I don't know what happened. Again, streaking down the right side. Nice cross, just a little bit too much on it. Right? Am I wrong or no? Right. I think that was me. Good shot. Here comes the corner. Was it? I love you, brother. In there, they've got Mark Silva, and on the ball is Don De Valerio. Kicks it back out. There's Bryant. Long try. Donny D. And he was also uh, hey, Steve, when did we decide to wear, like, to dark Navy socks one. and uh, blue shirts? Oh, it, was a, it was a good attempt. Well, we, we didn't – I'll tell you what, way back, you couldn't get the purple. Well. Out there That's why we were the Royals, because we were Royal. They try to get the ball inside and behind the defense. They were cheaper. Yeah, you couldn't get purple. Who made purple? Nobody. Purple? They made about six colors at the Edison Nugget. I back to live action and remain scoreless with a little over 30. Well, Arnie wasn't around yet. Regulation. We're in the second half <laughs> of this Division Three championship game. From well, yeah, I don't remember the Navy Sox there. By right. Babson College, the defending champion. I mean, Scranton had their chance. Now ball. Babson had theirs. We'll ball. see if Scranton's going to have theirs coming up in just a second again. Jim Crines made a nice deal there, number 13 for the Scranton Royals. You can hold it. Don't give it up so soon, mate. For Babson, the play is on. There was some contact there, but they had no particular advantage. Oh. And it goes to the keeper. So Babson's keeper now can do what he likes. Hello, Brian. <laughs> 34 minutes remaining in regulation. The goal kick by Phil McNeil for the University of Scranton. Standing 21 2 and 1 coming up to this championship game. Babson 15 3 and 1. A run now by the Scranton Royal. Jim Crines takes it down toward De Silva. They haven't been able to shake him oh. much all day. De Silva unable to do what he <laughs> likes with the ball. Yesterday he was able to. That was Siska, Siska again on him. Boy, That's it, Jim. Job. You're right. Ah, Jim, Jim was good. good. Marcotta number four <laughs> all over <laughs> on the uh, right touch line. <laughs> Spreading out the Babson defense a little bit better here, though, Al, in the second half. There's a push from behind, a very clear foul on Mark McNair. Oh, here we go, boys. So we put some more passes to get in the second half. First half, we get it Yes, they're doing a fine job on that young man, De Silva, who has really been bottled up. What's he talking about, bottled up? Siska's Here we go. you get Mark, did you get that one? So they're I did. You know, get it up there <laughs> All right, over, son. Over the goal. Let me see. The free kick is taken. Get up, Mark. Yeah, Come on. Deep down deep to the here. far post. Down. Fire. Oh, that's not down. Uh, and it just did that's all right. A little bit more of a spin on it. That one would have been in on net. Tallest guy up the field. That's the first time I ever saw him hit the ball. 
the stage when you are scoring. And you have uh, about 32 and a half minutes to go. What you just try to do is just connect up with the tallest guy out there. That's like the old kids game. You know, you go way downfield, not throw it to the biggest guy. Single game, so it's just a matter of working and working and working. I can't believe ESPN has actually had two cameras at that point. Oh, uh, what a through Lost ball. He's in. What a through ball. Oh, oh city oh, ball. Damn. What? Mark Haley for De Silva, and we will watch it again. Oh, he got two. Yeah, let's over. see that again. Look at that pass. Oh, oh, man. Ed, come on. Oh, oh, on your wrong foot, said. I should have pulled it back. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> if you pulled it back, Mark stopped running. You wouldn't have had him. <laughs> <laughs> Had a little bit better Sorry, Mark. Offense, I think, no worry. The, uh, last six, seven minutes of the second half. And Babson trying to get in. I just always assumed Ted was going to finish anyhow. Side, Silva. That was a tough angle back there. And we get another corner. That's going to be corner number three of the game. Oh, defensive Look at Cedric. Uh, he was running down the field. Right here. Defense. So we've got 30 that, was my, that was my field. position inside the... Uh, that is bizarre. Now. You watch it here. It comes and it is headed away by the yeah. defense, but Fisher's got it. Pushes it off on the right side to John Sisk. Sisk tries to save it in, and I think uh, it's going to be a goal kick. No one touching it from Stratton. He, he couldn't do. He couldn't do that at the end of the game. Right yeah, really. Thirty forty remaining in regulation. Good corner kick. Jimmy Levine, you see how I put that ball two yards outside the line? I'll get him, son. Hey, nobody called them on it. VAR on that one. Recovered, all right. Mambro is one of the two transfers to Babson from the University of Connecticut, which, of course, plays a Division One schedule, and we've done quite a few UConn games. Is Jimmy wearing shorts or what? I don't know. <laughs> 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 oh, I don't think they had thongs then. I know Steve won us the shortest shorts he could find, so it was fine. Joe Maroney Sr. Such a fine job with those Utah Huskies. But hey, Dad, it's weirder. They were Soccer Plus from Philadelphia. Yeah, I, yeah. 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 Hey, these are on sale. <laughs> Before it goes. <laughs> hey, is Chico still with us? Yeah. What's happening? I felt pretty good when we had. Oh, I want to hear from you, mate. Schellenberger up here, and he said the same thing that we had alluded to in the first half. Yeah, get in the game, man. Get in the game. <laughs> Call somebody. Top of the box. Oh. Number 24, Babson is Bob LeBlanc, who missed that golden opportunity in the first half, trying to atone. There's Steto to the field on the left side. The header. Oh. 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 Man, that dude could have had that in. For Babson, as they were looking for Silva, bearing down on the keeper, taking it out as Bill McNeil for Scranton. Stento, leading scorer, is going to get a very good opportunity as we're going to look at it again inside the penalty area. A good high ball. That Stenta, if it had just been a little bit more of a line drive, Stenta would have had a better opportunity on it. But the ball was a little bit too high. And by the time the ball came down, Stenta had already lost the position that he had garnered inside the penalty area. We'll see it here. It's going to come off of LeBlanc, who, who helped set up this cross in front. Cross, he just shot it and shanked. Neal is right there. Yeah. yeah. All right, back Didn't to live me? action as we watch Art Ham, the okay. linesman, with Bill Rogers, the head coach of the Bats yeah, Beavers. I knew those two guys would get on ESPN. Oh, yeah. The unpronounceable names, you're saying, right? Much more airtime for their yeah, coach, Steve, the than you. Yep. Yeah, no, I'm upset about that, man. It was the suit. Of the game and the I, I think they went by looks. <laughs> yeah, thanks a lot, <laughs> 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 Just under 26 minutes remaining. No score. Couple Come of on, Sad. I'm going to get on one of these. Come on. Just stick this right in there. Look. Have a look. May take the win. Oh. 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 Things are starting to loosen up just a little bit. Babson had some good opportunities down the other end of the field. And now this. Good slap play out of the box. And the keeper. Cahill looked like he fell down. Gilly! 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 Gilly!
That was uh, right. number eight, Rob Chico. Hernandez. Oh, Hernandez. Chico. The number of official saves credited is not a large number. They've, they've had a lot of work to do. That's... We'll get another look at the foul here. The foul that after he blew the whistle, referee John Buckley had a big smile on his face. A lot of legs tangled up there. Well, it wasn't grand larceny, but at least it was petty. Yes. You know, Lou, I look at this game and I say to myself, three years ago, two teams would have played for the national championship in total obscurity, but now things on national TV and it's Division Three, And some 3,000 fans live and on a cold day to watch it. Batson very heroically continuing on there is Bob LeBlanc as he just... Just was going in and Finally. around people trying to get, get out, out of there. Comes out to Demambo and Ooh. over the goal line. That one was a lot closer than it <coughs> seen, folks. Not a bad shot from 25 yards out. It missed by about six inches. And as a result, yeah, so it was it going in. Kick. Settled out at the midfield line it by wide. Demambo. <clears throat> Plays it off his outside of his right foot, creates his own open space. Good play by Demambo and lets one go. We'll see McNeil jump out of the screen, slaps it away. I guess it was uh, wide. Uh, God, I gave up. A, sorry, boys. Uh, Hollywood. Right, yeah. Yeah. I knew we were on TV. What was that? To Connolly. Connolly pushes it down into the box now. Out to Von Berg on the right side. His shot over the crossbar. Had that ball ticketed for the upper right corner. That one didn't miss by much. The game is certainly going from one team to the other, but not very quickly. Each team is taking a good, strong shot at having the ball in the other half of the field. Ball comes in as Big Von Berg waiting for it on the right side. And the shot sails over the much. bar. Never had a chance. No. Game, I should have saved that one too to get the save total up. Thank you. So early, uh, so well, so early in that first half. Stratton takes oh. about a turn. Oh, 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 Policeman made that. Uh, yeah. Talk yes. Back. At Trenton State. An assist. A cop in. Now it's betting a cop out, right? Comes up ahead to Stento. And stolen again and pushed over to De Silva. Now from Crines and uh, unable to get by the Babson defender, Connolly. Hey, Chico, I don't know if anyone ever told you this, but man, we really miss you those last two years, brother. You're a good man. Look at this big guy. That's Von Berg. Yeah. And that loose ball with my speed in Puerto Rico. Wings, finally taken out What's that, bro? Building, uh, yeah, it field. took off. Once no problem. We just, I'm just saying, you, as far as the game goes, we missed you. 19 minutes left in regulation. Yeah, Chico, the center back the next year is Larry. Live. <laughs> hey, Steve, do you remember the one time when Larry cleared it off our crossbar? <laughs> the ball went to like midfield. All right, all right Larry, good man. Quite a number of minutes. Eric, you're limping. <laughs> Eric, get up, man. Oh, Eric's hurt. to do to keep the ball in their own half. Limping around, he's hurt. Eric has something in his sock to make that feel better. <laughs> I'm sorry, Eric. I was, I wasn't supposed to tell him that. <laughs> you were in goal. <laughs> no, I mean Neil. I don't know if you were in goal. This, this year, the year before, we were up in Binghamton playing that preseason tournament, and Carlos yeah. tried to play a ball back and chipped our own goalie <laughs> and scored the winning goal for Binghamton. Binghamton, <laughs> Binghamton voted it as their best goal they scored all year. <laughs> Carlos, or Carlos? Yeah, Carlos Lerero. I'm sure. I, I think I was probably there. Yeah, but it was at the end of it. It was a preseason thing, so you may not have been in goal. Maybe Daryl or... I still remember. Joey was there then, probably, right? Yeah, was shooting on the Binghamton coach called me and said, hey, your kid got our best goal of the year award. <laughs> Upper 90. 7-4. <laughs> 7-4 on corner kicks. It was 5-1, though. Go get him, Crazy. Oh, Michael. 
Ball loose. Haley trying to connect. Good clearing boot by Babson. Running onto the ball is number 11. Here you go. Here you go. Beats over to Haley at the top of the box. De Silva winds up with it as they try to kick it through. Oh. Look how cluttered we were in the middle like that. Yeah. In the mud. Right. Couldn't move. No. 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 Move. You already. I want to tell you the middle of the field for you guys. The middle of the field was impossible for you guys. Yeah, you couldn't even dribble the ball. <laughs> no, you sunk down six inches in the middle. Feeling something's going to happen here. Did we play the the day before or two days before, Steve? We played the day before. The day before. The day before. The day before. Really? Yeah. And Relic played right after us on this, on this field. Yeah. Who did they? Oh, they played these guys, right? Yeah. Essen played Glassboro in the game went to four all the times. So that obviously. Ice Thomas. That was the longest game still in terms of minutes. We were 50, 57 trouble. minutes of overtime. When? The Rowan game. Side, the Glassboro. The next year. In the, in the final? Yeah, we were two minutes before PKs. Oh, I felt good about PKs that day, too, bro. Yeah, Gottrell. Gill scored on him. I know. We go. Glassboro going. Behind the ball, John Sexton. That's who it Babson could do it. Haley gets it out of trouble. Starts to run the other way. Long ball downfield. A race is on. Come on, sit on your horse, son. And Zest, who has been shadowing him all day, yeah. has done a fine job. You got a corner out of it. Good play. I'm on to the goal line touch last. Where we start taking it to him pretty good in the next five minutes. I think the only chance I had in the whole game is coming up. I think it should be. Are we in overtime yet or no? No. no. Yeah. It was about 18 minutes left in the second half. <clears throat> Come on, Crines. You do better than that. Oh. We needed the other Crines. Oh, there we go. Magic. Uh, Steve, take him out right now. <laughs> That was the only time he didn't beat that kid all day. Hey, here we go again. Watch. Whoa! Oh, oh, hey, oh, tackle him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Tackle Come on, him. son. Back to him. You, Jimmy Scoop! My. Who did he look how... Look how cluttered that is in there. I know. He falls down. Damn. Very active there. Crazy brothers. Crines, number 13. So the Crines brothers... Along with Nuttle and De Silva. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Mike was Mike was tired. Mud on his shoes. the corner. A lot of hard work by Scranton. You saw how they score their goals. Keep the pressure on. One touch passing, work it around, and in the end, try to find De Silva. <laughs> Didn't work that time. Yeah. I was. Obviously, obviously, Al Troutwig's first soccer game. Yeah. <laughs> that, was our, that was our tactics, was it? The pendulum has swung back and forth. It's just been very difficult to keep up with that pendulum swing. It's gone from one team to another. Come on, Dennis. Have one. You believe they didn't get that advantage? That's ridiculous. Come on. Robbery. Here comes the real crimes. Buckley stop play. Whoa! Oh, Mr. Referee! I guess that's Come on, man! He called it. Yep. Let's see how we do with this one. It's interesting here. Said, bend this thing in that corner. Come on! <laughs> bend it like back on this. You think Jim has been taking this or Cedric? You know the ending. Says, <laughs> he's channeling his Ward Prowse. Yeah, he's right. No 10. Ward Prowse, yeah. The <laughs> <laughs> Vin takes this? No way. Do that all the time. Move the ball just to get it on the other that, side. That was, all my, that was <laughs> always my move. Move it around. Yeah. If the Vin takes it, we strangle him. Oh! Oh, what the hell? How's it not going? Oh. Whoa! Ball still in play, though. I don't know how that went, guys. What happened there? Been added the whole width of the goal. Already Collier. I remember that play. What happened? It said ball. What happened to it? On the on the uh, direct kick. Momentarily out of trouble, and they try to get that elusive. Got scrambled in the mud. Where's the replay? Here we go. Here we go. There it is. So I'll play it in here. All right. Oh, he hits it. He hits it. Oh, oh. crazy! Crazy! Oh my God, Steve! Steve, <laughs> he should have been out. Yeah, let's have that again. That was going in. 
nothing, nothing. Seven going in. Yeah, we had some good opportunities. Yeah, we did. Silva gets the pass. Oh. Steers it out of trouble. Oh, this this is a penalty. Yeah, yeah. This is a penalty. Oh, 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 oh it's a penalty. It 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 what the hell, referee? He put obstruction. Watch Michael. He puts the ball and he puts it outside the box. Really? This ref had no. Rap, are you blind? Still inside the box. It's still inside the box. You can't do this. <laughs> How the hell is that obstruction? No, that's a penalty, man. I don't think the caliber referees changed that much. No. <laughs> One swing and miss. One. Get it. Oh. Oh. Give me one second over the top. Where does this referee live now? Is he still alive? Artie, <laughs> how you doing? I know you're on. That's good. Games are made of. I know. Tell me about it, Art. Usually the guys are getting down a culture. Who's that? Artie, come on. Yeah. yeah. Artie, congratulations. You guys had a great year down there. You had a good year. There it goes. Slapped out. Amazing. That was a brilliant shot, and you thought the rebound was going to be cut in by somebody. We were so much better than these guys. Oh, easily. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Hey, Mark, nice to see What's that? Free kick comes with about 7.45. They just called him. I think he called him Mark McBride, didn't they? No. Yeah. We look a lot of ways. He was always by. He was always bipolar anyway. Look at Haley. Uh, damn it. But as you say, Babson has not done anything. Is that going to that's already happen, Lou? I was going to ask you to look down and see if my legs are still there. All right, Eric. Here comes Crines on the attack. Lead ball for De Silva. This is this is the chance. Oh, yeah, this is it. Oh, this is coming in, man. He's injured himself loose. It is. That was going in. Oh. John Sisk. Did the goalie save it, Ned? No, I think. No, he hit John Sisk. I'm sitting here with my 16-year-old daughter. Clean it up, pal. She doesn't know you very well, does she? Uh, she's learning. And let's not share stories. <laughs> this is one of the reasons why I didn't want to watch this, because... Yeah. A lot of goals this year. They didn't show the replay of that shot. No. no. Nobody's heard from Di Valerio either, right? Mm. No. Yeah, he's off the uh, earth. Uh, he's facing the pass. I haven't heard from Di Valerio in 20 years. Mm -hmm. Here comes a good opportunity now for Batson. Up to Von Berg on the right <laughs> Chased by Hernandez and Van Berg. Van Berg got it back. Do it, Chico. And then Hernandez kicked it over the goal line. It sets up a corner for the Bears. Well, that's what I call taking advantage of the opportunity. Yeah. Babson only had two points back, and they made the most of it. Van Berg took it all the way to the goal line. You guys line got the fashionable shorts, up. too. They were in back there, Steve. Mm-hmm. That's right. And fourth of the second half for Babson Beers. There's Van Berg swinging it right close to the goal. They go for the header. It's only a defensive head at all. The yeah, defense not yeah. able to get it through, I don't believe. Yeah, yeah. I think we're going to have a whole corner. No, it's going to be a goal <laughs> kick. I don't know how that could have happened. I thought it was a defensive header. I couldn't see there was a lot of people down in that area. But at any rate, Babson was hoping to get it back for another. Go to the replay, Lou. Uh, half minute of play yes. that Babson's had yes. a long time in this game. Scranton coming back. In possession, Dennis McBride. Dennis. Bride's pass broken up for the moment by McNabb, but Scranton gets it right back. Over the head of Haley. Haley gets it back. Twisting shot. Ball loose along the ground, and finally Cahill is there. Don't take anything for granted. In one game, three in another, and four just yesterday when they played in the semifinals in a driving rainstorm. Free kick from about 30 yards away, and uh, with 3.40 to go, Babson tries to get in there, but there are more defenders for Scranton than our Attackers for Babson. Look at that field. What a joke. Comes back yeah. out for John Sisk. <laughs> nice left foot. 
<laughs> Steve, that's the first time I ever heard of someone say that if the game wasn't on TV, it would it would have been canceled. I don't. I, I think it would. It would. I mean, this was on Yeah. yeah. But I never thought of that though. Well, that's, yeah, it was live on ESPN. So Steve, it, it was shown live. They didn't show it on like a tape delay or anything like that. It was live. No, it was live. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they preempted the Alabama Clemson game. <laughs> <laughs> the day before the the Glassboro game with Babson, both coaches Gilmore and what's his name said they shouldn't have played that game. So that was on. Did they play after us, Steve? Yeah, they played after. We played eleven in the morning, remember? And then they played after, so they went over. I remember about fifty guys coming out of halftime and trying to pack it all down. You couldn't well, I'm sort of glad we played because I had exams on Monday. I wanted to get back. <laughs> you know us hate beat Hall students. He was not. It's not as bad as the Brides. Final four out in Claremont. I remember having... Thanksgiving dinner like like uh, Arby's or freaking. Plays very well. He's yeah, it's Thanksgiving we'll weekend too. They play him. these all Thanksgiving weekend. Number three for the Thanksgiving uh, dinner at Arby's. No, I think it was Denny's. <laughs> In regulation, De Silva number six. A Scranton possible attack coming up. A lot of a uh, lot of play for De Silva number six. De Silva. Uh -oh. I, I, I just couldn't get hold of the ball in that game. I just couldn't hold the ball at all. I can't imagine at this point what your legs are like, all of you. Yeah. You didn't even notice. Mm -mm. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I was Come on, Artie. <laughs> Wet ball. Long kick up the midfield. The clock says nine seconds. Now seven seconds remaining. We are going to go into overtime. So that's time yeah. regulation ends, and we are still scoreless between the Babs and Beavers and the Stratton Royals. And you know, it's not one of those games where you look and you say scoreless and not much action. We have had a lot of action, particularly here in the second oh, half. Oh, Louis, and very good. Sakes. Exactly what we've had. So after 90 minutes, no one's been able to score. We'll be back with more from Babson College in Wellesley, Massachusetts in the NCAA Division Three Championship. I would love to see one of the commercials here. I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> First team to score. Hi, I'm Bob Barker. Statistically, at the end of regulation, Stratton had 16 shots she for had. Babson, six saves for the Babson keeper, four for Stratton's keeper, Bill McNeil, six for Cahill. Good game. Eight corners for Stratton, five for mm. Babson. 21 fouls called against yeah, I remember the worst part, boys. The worst part of these NCAAs is when you get the bid and then you got to drop it to 18 players. Now, players. now you get 23, which is a little bit. I think all of us. But, hopefully I mean, we had 27 on the roster. I don't know if they can hear us. There, now they can. Yay, we're back. Unfortunately, we travel with 18 players. We already had meal money for 12. <laughs> yeah, two bucks each. We tried to find the Big Macs two for a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> would eat healthy. Bill, you pocketed your meal money anyway and used it at night when you got back, right? Uh, I got like a heat bar for dinner. All of you see being teed up by a guy who could be considered to go to the first half. Put the ball down and hit it, will you? Bob LeBlanc. There's his corner, ball. swings it in, it's right out front. Haley's first on the ball. And Haley kicks it out of trouble to Kreins. Kreins boots it almost back by the midfield marker. Conley has it now. <laughs> Babson once again attacks. Oh, God, here we go. To the top of the box. Is this it right here? No, no, no. It's out in trouble from the right. Isn't it? Over time. It's from the right side for sure. Yeah. It was like a minute. And a half left. Put it away with a good corner. Came in front. Was it the first over? It was the second overtime, wasn't it? No. The first. Uh, first. From the far side of the field, I think. This is this is the side of the field they scored on. Oh yeah. It must it must have been from a corner. No, it was like. It got cleared from a corner because I, I I was standing in the six yard box. I wouldn't I wouldn't. Have no, was it? 
Yeah. I think it got cleared from the corner and just, uh, went to the middle of the field and he played it out to the kid that hit it, like right mm -hmm. by the 18th. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He didn't it wasn't really a very good goal. Yeah. This might be it here, said. It could be it, yeah. Because the only goal with Frick gets to win is Frick. Yeah. There's LeBlanc, as you see, behind the ball, setting it up for the corner. There it is. It comes out a little bit too deep. It was headed toward the goal. And it hits the post. Oh. It hits yeah. the post. Get it out of there, Donnie. Almost Get it out of there. <laughs> Save it Don't dribble it out of bounds, Grind. Virtually trying to get back in here. 11 and a half minutes to go in the regulation, in the uh, sudden death overtime period. But they had a shot on goal, hit the post. I believe it was Stento who tried the shot. Everybody was halfway to their cars on that shot. Woof. That was almost <laughs> it. Goes right through Bryant. Bryant's going to have to take it over to his half. Now a foot race on McBride and Connolly. Connolly yeah. kicks it to his right, and McBride's going to get the ball. Now, why didn't he turn that back uh. to goal? You got to wonder. Perhaps oh. he figured that you know, he wouldn't get enough on it. Overlap, Jimmy. Overlap. What are you tired? Shot. Well, this is how close. Jesus. Babson came to win in the championship. A lot of action in front of the net. Rudy Van Berg is going to be the one, I believe, who takes the shot. Good thigh trap. Looks for the shot. Hits the post. How about that? It was you were there, Billy. You there. would have had that. I would have had it all the way. Glassboro did get third place in the tournament as they defeated Washington at St. Louis. 1-0 in the consolation game. Coming from the left side, Silva, oh, number two, is up ended. I didn't know they had consolation games, Steve. They did the then. They stopped line. it after, uh, yeah, in fact, the following year. I think Babson, the next Mark year, Silva I don't think will they will take it. No, they played a consolation game on that field before we played? Yeah, no, they played on a different field. Oh, they did? Yeah, yeah good field. <laughs> yeah, we, sh we should have went to the other field. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Ball loose and wide. Oh, another good opportunity. Hello, Cedric. Well, that, it's not right. everything but put it in. I seem to get a lot of corners in here. Yeah. Yeah. By Scranton's defense. Time, Lee, yeah. here comes Crines. Can he beat the defender for Babson, who does a great job of shielding the ball? At Ken oh, Lee. come on, ref. I don't like this guy. Michael no. Crines couldn't knock He's over Urkel. <laughs> Ah, uh, well, maybe. <laughs> maybe a little. I'll tell you, Eric, every time you got your ball, man, you, you got your money's worth. Uh-oh, I lost you guys. Can't reach either one. Comes out deep. Stento puts it up to the top of the box. Intercepted by Strand. Von Berg wins it back. Von Berg coming down the left side. There he is. Here's Von Berg kicked away. And another corner kick for the Babson. Maybe it's over this. Come on. I feel like we're playing the Dutch national team. Von Berg. Mm -hmm. <laughs> really a big man. He's from Belgium. Uh, is he sorry? Sting with it, trying to set something yeah. up. Runs that stopped Bella's problem. Just incredible. They had it set up again. Well, they're definitely sitting on the edge of the seats here at uh, Bath. They had more chances, didn't they? Yeah, the really only close. Whoops. Yeah. Whoops, Billy. Vapor lock. That one went high. Oh. Nobody's been able to get one by either Bill McNeil for Scranton or Brian Cahill for Babson. We have seven minutes and a few seconds left in this first sudden death overtime as the goal kick comes out for Scranton. Under tremendous pressure here in this overtime, Babson certainly has dominated in this sudden death. Connolly on the defense for the Babson. Take it easy, Louie. Comes back to yeah, the really. has it. Steve, did most teams up. play with sweepers back then? Yeah. All of them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Went Not most the all. Over the goal yeah, goal pretty kick. much everyone. Infield, no clear possession yet. Now on the right side, Fisher for Babson takes it up, but he's virtually alone. Now Von Berg rushes up to help out. They take it down right wing. There's the pass intended for Von Berg. Touched by the Stratton defender, Hernandez. Von Berg will throw it in. 
5.56 as the clock remaining in the sudden death overtime. Coming in, intercepted by Nuttall. Nuttall left it for De Silva. Go get Silva him, kid. Cooperate. Right. He's coming back up the field with Ken Ryman. Ryman has it right now. Nuttall in front of him. Ryman pushing on to the foot of Klein. Jim Klein. Uh, Who's Jimmy? Deep and the ball just... Oh! oh. 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 That was agonizing, wasn't it? Yeah. That ball, I could read the I could read the Adidas on that ball was going so slow. Watch this. I thought he was going in. Good effort though. In the condition, very good. De Silva now back with it. Scranton trying to regain the momentum That's it. that Batson had established here in his sudden down. death. 4.56 left in the overtime. Look at that. End of the game. Compat. Long try. Good serving pass. Cleared away. Down the by the Batson defense. Shot on goal from deep. Oh, up on one. Oh, damn it. On by De Silva. And I think we can win this one. Hit him, Kenny. Out. De Silva took that shot. It took a wicked hop. Well either, either side of that goalkeeper, I think they might have gone in. He's long cross, headed out to Silva, will rescue it, and he'll wind it up with his right foot. And the bounce just Ooh. was saved nice by Cahill. Cracking volley. Three yards the other side, that was in. Yeah. <laughs> long way out. You don't know, aim for the guy in the middle. Putting it down is Art Collier now for the free kick. We found a dry spot. Mm. Got Ryman in the box along with McBride. Pass, McBride bearing down on the goalkeeper. Loose ball. Oh. Uh, and, Devo. Uh, yes, a wasted shot for sure by De Valerio. He's going, Dominique. What's going on? <laughs> Here's a quality <laughs> shot. For <laughs> free kick for Babson. Stratton saving it in and then losing it was Jim Levin, so it's the throw in for Babson over on the Stratton half. Oh no. Nuttall saves it in on the sideline. Steddo kicks it up ahead on the right wing for Silva. Silva looking to center. Ball over the oh, I lost the his speed. Corner kick coming up for Babson. Boy, they had them here in this overtime. That's their fourth overtime corner kick. Less than two minutes remaining. This has got to be it, right? That's it. I'm going to get a quick. <laughs> Turn this off. I want to talk to, I want to talk to Michael Crimes right now. Where is well, he? Yeah. I think this is it. He squirts it in. The ball coming out. The box. It is loose. It is free. Steno had it for the moment. Nobody able to really get on it. There's Big Von Berg going in. Nice, not it. Kick to the side and over the touch line. The throw in on the other side now for Babson. There's only two minutes left. It has to be any minute. Sits there. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
and they had their moments <laughs> out here today. In fact, really, nobody, I know it's a cliche, but nobody deserved to lose it. But let's see that winning shot again. Who do you say? Watch this one. He got everything. Here we go. Blame Michael Crimes, he said. He'll wind up, and we'll see here if McNeil was screened. Sisk gives it all. There it is, your championship yeah, shot right. in slow motion. Was he screened? I thought I don't it was think over. It was over. Uh, the uh, game is over. And Babson is the first team ever to win three uh, national uh, championships uh, in an NCAA uh, Division three, And they do it two years in a row, 79-80. I didn't want to be that close. To <laughs> so guys, you know, that, um, obviously, unfortunately, I was unable to superimpose us winning that game. Uh, technology <laughs> does not <laughs> allow I'll me. Blame, to, yeah. I'll blame the editor. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just a, an incredible game. Uh, just, you know, really something. And obviously, even though you guys did lose, you know, you, it was a historic season, really, for the soccer program. Uh, the, 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 the amount of victories that you guys, guys ended the season with 21. No Scranton team has ever come close to winning 21 matches ever since then, 40 years later. And it was the start of a really a huge run for the soccer program at Scranton. Four straight Final Fours. You guys made it to the national championship game again the next season. So, um, Steve, How I did that one go? <laughs> I guess, you know, I'll have you end this. Um, watching that over again, um, I just want to get your thoughts on this and also just being with these guys again, these guys that you coached, and seeing how successful they are in life, I just want you to say a few words to them, but also just a few words on, on watching this all over again. Some well, I want to say, Joseph, uh, Matt, Matt, and thanks a lot for doing this. It was really great to see a lot of the guys again. Um, it was a great season. You know, I feel I felt uh, the one thing, too, is, you know, that we lost, I think, we had, we had 11 seniors in that team. We lost seven starters, eight starters, and came back and got the national championship the next year. So, you know, obviously it shows the depth we had. And, uh, you know, like I said earlier, you know, to lose three games to the Division II national champ, the fourth-ranked team in D1, and the national championship in D3 is, you know, quite a season. You know, so just, it was a great tribute to all these guys, and uh, it all looked like they could go back on the field now and play again. <laughs> yeah. Guys, I just want to thank you all for joining us. It was a lot of fun uh, reminiscing about this, and, and, and as, as always, I just wish you guys the best. Stay safe out there, um, and we yeah. will see you down the road, okay? Thanks a lot, guys. Hey, stay right. in touch, John.